Hi, I'm David Mallett. We're at Redemption backstage and I'm looking after their hair. Hello. Oh. It's a street story. We want straight, smooth, natural hair that's not greasy, has no texture, that moves, swings, bounces when the girls work, has a nice texture, nice smell, nice shine. Simple, easy, good look. Real hair. Would you come to me? Hi, I'm Marjan and we are backstage at Redemption. To me. It's just literally me. I, I came in, they're like, let's do your hair, and they're like, oh no way, it's good. So I didn't do anything. Fashion TV, I'm Naomi Chen Wing, backstage at Redemption. My hair was straight before, and then they curled it, and then they straightened it again, because they changed their mind. <laughs> so I'm back to straight. Would you come to Hi, Tom Pichu. We are backstage at Redemption. Bebe, the designer, is into girls who are sexy, sensual, rock and roll, fun, pleasant, beautiful. So we go for the smoky eyes, slightly smudgy, a lot of mascara, and the rest is natural. and Tom gives his, his own touch, so it's really nice. It's cool, I like it. it's like strong, you know, like, I'm like, yeah. Hey, Fashion TV, I'm Luna, and we're chilling backstage at Redemption. I love the makeup, it's like, that you just went to a night out and your makeup is all messed up. Hi, I'm Benjamin Morati, creative uh, director of uh, Redemption, and welcome to my show. Je vous parle d'un temps que les moins de 20 ans ne peuvent pas connaître. Mon marque en ce temps-là. It's a love letter to the things that inspired me for a very long time. With the two things that I love the most, which are, you know, rock and roll and this golden era of, of couture in France here in Paris. So I looked at a lot of the pictures from the 40s and 50s, those days, while listening to a lot of Nirvana and Pearl Jam and, and all of that. So I wanted to do a mix of this, you know, what would happen if the couture woman actually ended up going grunge. This particular show, I loved the rock and roll elegance. I loved those coats, particularly, especially that velvet cape. That was beautiful. My first outfit is a suit. It's like Western, kind of feeling Western chic rock. Like, it's really cool. It's like, I'm wearing this hat. Like cowboy head kind of thing, and I like it. No, rien de rien. No, je ne regrette rien. Ni le bien qu'on m'a fait, ni le mal. Tout ça m'est bien égal. That's kind of my take on grunge couture. I use some tartan, but instead of using the regular way we did it in chiffon and we you know made some ruffles and some constructions around it and everything so it's throwing in the blender you know these these two worlds that are somewhat you know opposites to each other 
and just press the button and blend them up and see what comes out. And I think out of the craziness the redemption is, what came out is what you saw on the catwalk. Je repars à zéro. I really decided to write this love letter to Paris, which is the city where we presented from day one, that has inspired me and welcomed us with very, very open arms. So that's also why I chose some beautiful French music. I didn't go with the usual rock and roll soundtrack, and I think it was pretty amazing. And I, you know, it's also music that I love. Mad about the boy. I know it's stupid to be mad about I am wearing a mini skirt with a halter back top with some heel boots. I love the boots. The boots are like my fave, the shoes. Love the shoes of the show. Boy. The silver screen. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of fun in the show, though the music had a very seriousness to it. The girls were in clothes that you're going to want to party in. I in particularly love the idea that he likes a great train or that he likes something that's kind of floating and flouncing away. So there are clothes that have a lot of joie de vie, as we say here in Paris, and they're clothes that make a girl feel sexy and they make her feel young no matter her age. And, and I think there's nothing wrong with being sexy and feeling young and feeling pretty. I love that Baby always goes to that Saint Laurent moment, that, that's such a, a moment of sensuality, a, a moment of romance, and, and he loves to inject color. And you know, many people reference Mr. Saint Laurent, but they sometimes forget that he was probably the best colorist in fashion. And so when I see these important ruby reds and these garnets and all the beautiful purple that's showing up on the runway, mauve, purple, violet, it's, it's a moment for that color again. It, it really excites me. Il faut savoir. The colors are also very much inspired by rock and roll because purple and red and uh, you know that shade of pink that we used and black of course which is my favorite color uh, are all colors that are sort of, sort of omnipresent in you know the plethora of colors that rock and roll offers us. Dans une vie bête à pleurer. He has a great ability to blend the 70s and certainly a lot of 80s, which are on all the runways this season. And I love how he did those kind of great masculine menswear jackets with a big powerful shoulder over a cocktail dress or an evening dress, and even the fun furs that were painted to look like hounds too, so the multiple colors. Uh, sans that's kind of the woman that inspires us. You know, she's a strong, independent woman that has a voice. She likes to voice her, her opinion. I think she has a very specific culture, but at the same time, she's very much in tune with what the problems of the world are. And with Redemption, we get 50% of the profits of charity, so we like to know that we are inspired by women that actually contribute to this world, that are not just about, you know, the partying and the glam and stuff like that, but, you know, that also have a certain gravitas. It's two black uh, dresses. They're kind of simple, but they have really elegant uh, touch. They have like little sparkles on them. My last outfit is strapless and uh, very short as well. Really cool, sexy. Cool rock and roll. I'm kind of a rebel in fashion. I love to go against the grain, uh, go with the beat of my own drum, and that's what I love about Bebe. That's what I love about Redemption. I love his uh, vision for 
creating uh, movement and philanthropy. He gives 50% of his profits to charity. You know, he loves old school rock and roll and poetry and art. And, you know, I think that those days are kind of missing. So I'm looking forward to, you know, bringing back an experience. And I think Redemption's the perfect brand to do that. Thank you.